Our new M-Link is a PC-based digital power and energy module that is compatible with all of our detectors, including thermal, pyroelectric, and optical. It's truly universal, with the ability to measure from femtowatts to kilowatts and femtojoules to kilojoules, across the spectrum from deep ultraviolet to far infrared and the terahertz gap. It's supported by our versatile, user-friendly LabVIEW software for control, display, and analysis of your laser measurements. We'll be demonstrating the M-Link with a pyroelectric energy probe to give you a general look at how it works and to show you the benefit of using the external trigger and unique noise suppression features when measuring pulse energy. This is our neodymium YELF laser running at 500 Hz. We've included an optical holder for an ND filter. We're using our QE8B pyroelectric probe. Our M-Link is powered by a USB connection to our PC running M-Link software. The trigger input is connected to the laser trigger output, and the analog output of the M-Link is connected to our oscilloscope, which provides a handy way to view the probe output directly when setting things up. Let's make some energy measurements and take a look at our software. When you bring up the M-Link software, the first thing you'll see is the setup screen, where you'll be able to read the probe model and serial number, wavelength range, and area information that is stored in the probe E squared prom. M-Link comes up in the auto range mode and will automatically run through the ranges and adjust the trigger level until it is measuring energy. I'm going to turn auto range off but leave the trigger set to internal and the trigger level at 2%. Notice that we display the pulse energy at a green bar graph along with range, trigger, and several other controls. These are always present and available at the top of every screen. You can also enter a multiplier or an offset to compensate for a particular optical setup. You can select moving average and sample size if you want to stabilize your readings. Now let's move to the scope screen. Here we'll see a 100 point data set displayed in a strip chart of energy versus time. You can enter the number of data points you want to display up to 10,000. Auto reset is the default condition, but you can turn it off and use the reset button if you like. Our software provides several other useful screen options like histogram, where you can look at the distribution of pulse energy for a batch of pulses. Needle. This lets you watch the analog needle while aligning your laser and optimizing your setup. You can set the scale or select full scale. Averaging, where your data set is displayed in a chart that averages 10 energy measurements per bin and displays the minimum, maximum, and average values in a graphic form. Statistics, we've saved the best for last, the powerful diagnostic statistics screen. You can capture and display pulse energy statistics continuously or in a defined batch size. We're measuring the pulse energy of our Yelf laser running at 100 PPS and reading about 8.4 microjoules. Let's take a look at our batch of pulses. We can see the mean, maximum, minimum energy values and look at the RMS and peak-to-peak -peak stability. We also capture the laser rep rate and calculate average power on the run. I'll now add an ND3 neutral density filter to our setup to reduce the pulse energy to about 200 nanojoules. With M-Link set to internal trigger and a 2% trigger level, you can see that the M-Link has difficulty measuring at 200 nanojoules. The rep rate reading is not stable. This is the result of a small noisy signal that can be seen viewing the analog output on the oscilloscope. Now let's select external trigger and see what a difference it can make. We'll take another data set. We're now reading 170 nanojoules with an RMS stability of about 13%. We can improve on this. Let's engage our unique noise suppression feature. We're now reading 130 nanojoules with a much better RMS stability of 1%. Our external trigger and noise suppression features are critical when measuring low energy levels with any of our geometer probes. They not only enhance the measurement stability, but also accuracy. Let's review the key features of the M-Link module. USB power, digital power and energy meter, wide dynamic power and energy range, external trigger input and analog output, unique noise suppression feature for low energy measurement, 
compatible with all probes, field upgradable firmware, powerful standalone LabVIEW application software.